केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स रिएक्शन विथ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स फ्रॉम लर्न फोटाफर डॉट कॉम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एसिड्स आर सब्सटेंसेस विच टर्न्स ब्लू लिटमस पेपर इनटू रेड and bases are the substances that turns red litmus paper into blue watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now in this video we are going to see reactivity of metals and non metals towards acids and bases first we will see reactivity of metals and non metals with acids let's start this with an activity from this activity you might have understood that metals on reaction with acids forms hydrogen gas non metals on the other hand generally do not react with acids you must have noticed that copper show less reactivity towards hydrochloric acid however it reacts with sulfuric acid reactivity of metals and non metals with bases activity so from this activity you might have understood that metals on reaction with bases produces hydrogen gas the reaction of non metals with bases are complex you will learn it in higher classes watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now displacement reaction the word displacement itself says the action of moving something from its place in any reaction if one element displaces another element from its compound in an aqueous solution then such reaction is called displacement reaction let's perform a quick activity Step 1 Take 500 ml beakers and label them A B C D and E Step 2 Add 50 ml of water in each beaker Step 3 Dissolve teaspoon of copper sulfate in A and B Zinc sulfate in C and E and iron sulfate in d step 4 add zinc granule in a iron nails in b and e copper turnings in c and d step 5 keep the beakers undisturbed for some time what do you observe Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Observation. After step 4, color of solution in beaker A and B changes. But in C, D and E does not change. Dear students, In beaker A when zinc granule is added the color of solution changes from blue to colorless at the same time zinc granule get dissolved and powdery red mass get deposited at the bottom which is copper 
What this means is that zinc must have displaced the copper atoms from copper sulfate solution. Such type of reaction is called displacement reaction. It is given as copper sulfate reacts with zinc and produces zinc sulfate and copper. Since zinc is replacing copper from its compound, then it means zinc must be more reactive than copper, isn't it? Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. In the similar manner, the reaction taking place in beaker B can be given as copper sulfate reacts with iron and produces iron sulfate and copper. Here also, iron replaces copper indicating that iron is more reactive than copper. In beaker C, copper does not replace zinc. Confirming that zinc is more reactive. Same follows in beaker D. In beaker E, iron does not displace zinc from zinc sulfate. This means that iron must be less reactive than zinc. By carrying out such displacement reactions, we can arrange elements in order of their reactivity. Such arrangements is called reactivity series. In reactivity series, more reactive element always replaces the less reactive element from its compound. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe learnfotafer.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfotafer.com.